What's up? This is Abe Kislevitz, and today I'm going to show you how to light paint with my Fiesta. Okay, so we have LED rope, which needs to go on the outside of the car here. But I want to run it the entire length of the car, and then vertically down, and possibly around, so it creates sort of a streaking effect. driving it'll leave streaks of these lights green blue purple blue oh my gosh there's so many colors I have a LED and a tripod gaff tape DSLR GoPro head cam all the necessary tools for light painting so, we took some photos the other night. I wasn't super happy with all of the results. So we're back for round two. Just get some pickup shots. I've got my handy assistant Tyler Johnson here. What's happening? <laughs> all right, so now we've got a nice hill. We can kind of see this whole area. It's a bummer we've got a big light in the parking lot, but we'll see what we can do and uh, see if we can get some cool long exposure shots. Tyler Johnson is a seasoned, long exposure photo extraordinaire. He's got a rad website. What is your website? <laughs> Don't have a website. Oh, I always <laughs> link to somebody's website that's yeah, not Facebook yours. Facebook is all I have. Facebook. He's got a rad Facebook. <laughs> so, definitely want to use a tripod for this so we get a very static shot. We don't want the camera moving at all. And we have it in, locked and loaded. Turn the camera on, pull off the old lens cap. And for this one, I'm gonna use live view again so I can kind of see what we're working with. Zoom it in, because I wanna see most of the parking lot. And uh, let's get that pull out of the shot. Cool. And then again, I'm gonna zoom in, kind of super far so I can see where my focus is and I'm on manual focus get my focus correct and let's see what are we at right now we have an aperture setting of 20 the exposure time is 30 seconds and ISO is 800 I'm gonna take a test shot real quick and just see what this looks like I've got a two second timer just to make sure I'm not touching the camera when it goes off and we'll wait 30 seconds. All right, let's see, this is actually looks pretty sick. Oh, let's look at that here. So by having the aperture so high, it's making that burst looking thing on the photo. You can see how the lights look super sunbursty. And same with down there, if we zoom in on the car, all the, the lights kind of look pretty sweet. Um, so I kind of like that for now. What we could do is get the exposure time longer because I want to make sure we can see the streaks of the light. Having the aperture so small means it's not going to let in as much light in the time that I have it. So uh, I'm going to plug in my remote here to the side. Remote in. This remote lets me take as long of a shutter time as I want. So right now it's set on 12 days, which is not what I want. Go zero days. And I think we could try probably a 50 second exposure set. Self timer, we don't want that at 10 days. I want to set everything else to zero. And then to use this, I set my camera in bulb mode, which bulb mode says that you can just hold down the shutter and it will take a 
picture for as long as you're holding down the shutter. So this acts as me pressing the shutter for 50 seconds. So start shutting the bulb. And, uh, all right. So now I can test this out. If I hold this down after two seconds, holding down, holding down, I let go. That's how long it lasts, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to switch it off of the two second timer mode. So now it's just going to take it when I press it. And I can also use this shutter button here, hold it down. So it's taking a photo right now and it'll show you how long it's taking this photo for four seconds. And I let go and it goes cool. So to start this 50 second one, it's just a timer start stop. Let's try it just to make sure going. And now it's counting down, so 47 seconds, 46 seconds. And it'll count down and take a 50 second long exposure, which means it's letting in light for this whole 50 seconds, which is enough time for me to drive around the parking lot a couple times, and then park, and run around with a light in my hand, looking like a doofus. All right, I'll take this. I'll yell out the window and just signal when to start it. All right. If that's cool car is running. I'm going to turn on the lights here. Right. Lights are on. Sweet. <sighs> Let's turn off NPR. You ready? I'll give you a three, two, one, okay? Three, two, one, go! So I'm just gonna drive around the parking lot because I want it to pick up streaks of light here. Oh, lost a bowl. Helps to tie your stuff down here. And then I'm gonna park back. Where I was. Turn off this light. And get out. 30 seconds. So I want to be careful not to show this light to the camera, otherwise, it'll uh, get me in the shot just moving around but what I want to do is try to paint the car with light hold this make sure the ST is lit up yes. all right pretty good wow that's tight I like the blue and the pink that came right off the back of your car last second so we started this project two days ago, experimented, and it was kind of my first time. Now that I have a little more experience under my belt shooting long exposure photos with lights attached to a car, I um, am pleased with the results from round two. Alright, that's a wrap on light painting with my Fiesta. Welcome to GoPro.